So lollipop moments. It's all about lollipop moments. But I hope you enjoyed that. I, I found that a really sort of powerful message because what he was saying was that we all have an impact. This isn't about directors. This isn't about managers. This is about every single person being able to make an impact in, the, in sometimes the very smallest of ways. And that in itself is about leadership and supporting people to develop that ability to have that impact and develop an understanding of how they have that impact is how we develop leadership. So it, try to hold that message sort of in your, in your mind as we, as we go through today. I have to say, I think I've had a few lollipop moments in my life. Um, you probably all have as well, where you can think of people who have influenced you or made a real impact on you as an individual. Not necessarily at work. Um, people have an impact in a wide range of um, roles in life. Um, again, we tend, to, we tend to constrict ourselves to thinking about leadership in a work environment, but it goes so far beyond that. If you think about people who have affected you in your life, you might, think, you might think about family members. You might be really important family members who've affected you. School, school teachers, um, scout leaders. There's all sorts of people who have a really, really powerful impact on you that aren't necessarily your line manager. It's not about line management. There might be colleagues you work with who have much more of an impact on you than your line manager, because it's about leadership, and that's what we're, we're talking about. I certainly know that when I was at school, I had, a, I had a, a modern languages teacher, Spanish and French, and she inspired me to go on and study at university to study Spanish and French, because she was so passionate about the subject, and the way she communicated her passion for the subject really engaged me and got me interested in foreign languages. And then when I was later working, um, I was in HR, I was an HR manager. I worked for someone called Dean Royals, who went on to become chief executive of NHS employers. He's an incredibly inspiring person. And he, re he really got me to look at things from an HR perspective, but outside the HR box, looking at how HR links with all the other agendas in the organisation and beyond, looking at how, for example, you can work with communications in HR and really sell the message a lot more powerfully. So those are just two people who've had an impact on me. But what I'd like to do now is oh, throw that over to you. Just to, just to start us off, I'd like you all to think about what you just heard about lollipop moments, people who have impacted on you in your life. Um, we're going to give out, have we got them on the chairs? Or, oh, they're on the chairs, sorry. On your chairs, you'll have a little slip of paper, and it asks you to identify somebody who's inspired you as a leader. You don't have to do it right now. If you can do it right now, great, but Karen's going to get up and talk in a minute. Whilst Karen's talking, if you want to have a think and record that, the name of that person, what their role was, and then just up to three things. that What was it about that person that really had an impact on you and made you think differently, um, and perhaps you know, as a leader? Um, We'll collect those in later. We're going to do a bit of an experiment. It might send Ken over the edge, this experiment, I have to say. We're going to do it live, and we'll just see how it goes, and we hope that we'll be able to produce the goods at the end of the day. What we're going to do is collect them in after Karen's section, take them away, and then we're going to put them all up on the screen at the end in a, in a word cloud, in a Wordle, um, so that we can have a look at what the room the room's thoughts were on leadership at this point in time and then I'll talk to you a bit about what we're going to do with that later. So if you can all do that um, and in the meantime I will introduce Karen Howell, Chief Executive, who's going to talk to you about her perspective on leadership. Thank you Carol, thanks. thanks a lot.